how's it going? A uh, beautiful day and a stunning location here. The uh, main city of Andorra nestled in these mountains and uh, where these different valleys converge. Down that way is Spain and the border to uh, cross into Spain. And then there's a valley that goes up over here, but you cannot leave Andorra that way. You can't enter uh, France through that way. There is a uh, different valley going up this way that goes uh, more east and there is a uh, border crossing for the French border there. So there are only two border crossings here in Andorra, one for France and one for Spain. And so I'm going to uh, just start walking around here and do a, a basic walkthrough of the city. Just give you a taste of this really uh, picturesque city here in the Pyrenees. The uh, highest elevation of any capital city in Europe. About 1,000 meters. And up ahead is a very uh, futuristic looking building. And a uh, nice park here. Strange face. And so I've been in Andorra for a total of three days now. I went on a uh, really awesome hike yesterday. Started right here in the uh, middle of the city and walked up a uh, trail up that way. Got way up into the mountains. And so you can just walk in any direction and you will be uh, in the uh, wilderness pretty quickly. And so the total population for Andorra is about 77,000 for the whole country. It is a very, very small little country. Basically, it's like five to 10 miles in any direction and you get to either France or Spain. I met a guy yesterday on my hike. He had a backpack and tent and everything way up there in the uh, mountains where I went. And he was walking from the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean, all through the Pyrenees. He'd been hiking for about uh, 12 days to get to, uh, you know, here in Andorra. And so he was like a third of the way into the hike because Andorra is kind of in the uh, Eastern Pyrenees, more towards the Mediterranean. And so the official language here is Catalan. It is a Romance language deriving from Latin that has similarities to Spanish and Italian and Portuguese and is spoken in here in Andorra, of course, and also in northeastern Spain, including Barcelona and the whole area around there and the islands of Menorca and Mallorca where I was just a few days ago. I came from uh, the island of Menorca and took a ferry from Menorca to Barcelona and then a uh, bus, a three hour bus trip from Barcelona direct right here to Andorra. And so it is mid-July and the weather has been variable. It started raining yesterday while I was hiking, but there's been plenty of sun in the uh, three days that I've been here. A uh, bit of a breeze blowing, helping uh, cool things down a bit. And quite a uh, stunning location for that building there, up on that little bluff. And so Andorra is known for uh, skiing. A uh, big skiing destination. And I will be going to a uh, little town that is by one of the uh, ski slopes that gets uh, much higher up into the mountains in elevation. So here's the uh, main uh, shopping street. Shops and restaurants galore. I ate at this restaurant on the uh, right a couple of nights ago. Had this really good, like I think kind of local dish with uh, sausage and 
white beans for about 14 euros, so pretty reasonable. And so yes, uh, Andorra is kind of trendy. All the shops and everything and tourists from all over Europe and elsewhere, but uh, coming here for shopping and skiing and hiking and stuff. But the good thing is that if you want to get away from the uh, flashy advertising and all the colorful snails, for some reason it's a theme of, there's another one, a yellow one down there, of all these snails along the uh, walkway here, not sure why, but anyways, if you want to get away from this whole city vibe and the uh, shops and shoppers and everything, then just start walking. It's that simple as I did yesterday. And you can be away from all the uh, busyness very, very quickly. And into the uh, peaceful quiet of nature. And there's really a lot to see in Andorra as far as hiking and exploring and mountains and lakes. And so I'll do my best to uh, show more of the country beyond the main city here in the uh, coming days. I'm here for another at least three days. Maybe I'll stay longer. I don't even know where I'm going next after here. Andorra. The letters are kind of scattered a little bit, but uh, once you get into the uh, center, it lights up at night. There's the A kind of hidden back there on the left. My legs are so tired. Just totally sore from yesterday's very intense hike. A lot of uphill elevation gain. And so I have a hotel for just $40 per night, way back uh, that way. And then tomorrow I change to another one that is uh, more over here because the prices at the hotel where I am uh, now went up a lot. They doubled for the weekend because today is Thursday. And so I found a uh, different hotel over here, again for about $40 a night for uh, Friday and Saturday. So very, very reasonable uh, prices and food as well. Hasn't been too expensive, so that's quite surprising actually. this uh, random road here just to get some views and then discovered that it ends here but got some uh, pretty good views anyways so there is the city long and skinny down in this valley and where I hiked yesterday you can see right there is a gas station right past that was the uh, start of the trail and it went up that valley there and then I hiked like four miles back up there and ended up at a refugee a like hiking uh, cabin stone building for hikers to stop and rest and there were tables for eating and a uh, 
outhouse, toilet, and some uh, very basic uh, sleeping bunks. But no people there, not a restaurant with facilities, um, just like a uh, building that you can stop at when you're hiking along the uh, trails. And they're scattered all through the mountains here, those uh, refugees. I saw lots of signs for other ones with, uh, they uh, have names. And so there's hiking trails that just go off all through the mountains here. So I think that is going to uh, do it for this video. I will be here, as I said, for uh, several more days. So more coming from the beautiful country of Andorra and the Pyrenees. See ya. And so I'm at this uh, restaurant that I came to the first day that I arrived, right after I got off the uh, bus. It's near the bus station. And they have a great selection of really interesting looking uh, dishes. I'm not exactly sure if it's all like more traditional Andorran food or regional like Spanish and French or what. And so look at these uh, various dishes available. Not sure what that is, maybe a ham. I'm guessing pork chops there. Salmon. And you can see the prices, so 960 euros for that one. Nine euros, 10 centimos there. Sausage and I don't know if that's bread or what there. Octopus. Patatas bravas, that is a popular Spanish tapas dish. Potatoes with a spicy sauce. Champignons plancha, so champignons is mushrooms. And I got this one. 11 euro 50. And I guess that is a omelet. And the uh, waitress tried to explain that one to me. Uh, she does speak English. It's like potatoes with mayonnaise and olives and some sort of a like casserole sort of a dish i guess and then uh got some uh, pork chops there and so that is like 13 dollars and the first day that i was here i got this one here sausages with eggs and french fries and salad for 10 euros 40 so really great prices for a uh, large plate of food there and here we go, that looks really good. So there's the omelet, and then that is the... Thank you. What is inside this? Salad rosa. Salad rosa. It's potato, mayonnaise, of, um, vegetables. Veg vegetables. Yeah. I see, okay, great. And four pork chops there, and some bread.